big and too slow. No, it is you, the camera-bearing citizen. We live in a world where the people capture and distribute visual proof directly back to the people. There is no more middleman issuing us half-truths. Think about it. In Egypt, after the state media failed to sedate the masses, Mubarak tried to shut down the internet, but couldn't afford shutting down the whole economy. Within days, social media was flooded with thousands of videos and images from people's cameras, so powerful they toppled the 30-year timer in 18 days. Or at the Zuccotti Park eviction, the NYPD locked out the mainstream media a block and a half away, but the people being evicted inside filmed the whole thing. If you want to join these brave shooters and improve your skills, watch this video, or we'll show you how to film a revolution. You have two types of scenes in a revolution peaceful and violent. Peaceful scenes include civil disobedience, flash mobs, demonstrations, strikes, and so forth. As long as they're peaceful, film however you want, whatever you want. There really are no limits. Soon though, police violence will overrun peaceful protests, and you must now film safely and strategically. Five important rules to remember. Number one, call out for cameras. Get more people over. The more the merrier. Number two, don't film vertically. This is self-explanatory and super frustrating for editors. Number three, keep your distance. You can't film if you are injured or if you break your camera. Number four, protect yourself. Watch out for advanced weaponry, including chemical pepper spray, toxic tear gas, phosphor flash grenades, rubber bullets, wooden batons, sound cannons, and raging horses. Number five, stand up for your rights. No, I refuse. It is not legal for the press. Other times you will be at the scene with fellow shooters, so get multicam coverage. Here are three formations you can execute, varying in difficulty. Number one, the fan formation. If the action is surrounding you, stand together, back to back, and film outwards in a fan formation. This will maintain your integrity as a unit within the surrounding chaos. Be conservative with your angles, since you may be the only one filming in that direction. Number two, the surround formation. If the action is in one spot, fan out around it. Don't go too far or you may get split up. Be creative with angles since there are many of you with